Welcome everyone and thank you for joining me. My name is Sandin Tlapo and today we are looking at data handling specifically on developing questions, collecting data, classifying and organizing data. Did you know that developing a question to a problem might be the greatest way of finding solutions? By the end of this lesson, you should be able to develop a question when given different scenarios based on the given context, collect data relating to the wider community or more complex social issues, and lastly, give two or more sets of data containing multiple categories to arrange or sort by intervals or tally tables. Now, these are the concepts that we'll be looking at on this lesson. We are going to develop a question, collect data, and arrange or sort the data given. What you should know by now, you should be able to develop questions, calculate data, classify and organize entirely tables given one set of data. Developing a question and identifying instrument to collect data. Now, let us look at what you should be knowing by now. So now I have already highlighted that when we develop a question, it's where by now you need to find the main problem because you cannot have solutions to what you do not know. So you firstly need to identify the main problem. Now let us look at the example that is given to us. The principal at one of the secondary schools in Gauteng noticed that learners arrive late at school. So if these learners arrive late at school, it means that is the main problem because you cannot have learners arriving late at school. He therefore decided to investigate the cause of late arrival at school in the mornings. Now, so this is the main problem because the principal has observed that most of the learners arrive late and he also wants to find the solutions to the problems. Therefore, after we've identified the main problem, you need to have the sub-questions whereby the sub-questions will be the questions that will guide you when you develop your instrument to collect data. Now, let us look at the possible sub-questions. What is the mode of transport that the learners use to travel to school? So now the mode of transport is very important because now the, t the principal will know whether the learners are using a common transport. It could be a bus or a taxi or the learners are traveling uh, with other modes of transport to school. Then the second one, it could be how many learners are recorded as being late in a week per Class. So the principal also needs to know exactly in which um, class and which grade whereby the learners arrive late so that he can attend to those learners. And lastly, it could be what time do the learners leave home to school? Because now the main reason why the learners might be late, it could be that they leave home very late. So the principal will have to let the parents know that the learners arrive late and also encourage the parents that they should uh, allow learners to leave early to school. Now, another thing that you should be knowing by now, you should be able to classify and organize data. Let's look at the given example. If it says here, learners in each grade indicated they would prefer to buy the following at the school's tuck shop. So now we are given three options. We are given a duck wood, which is 20 rand, chicken and mayo, which is 25 rand, quarter, which costs 15 rand. So the learners are given these three options as their meal. Now we are to complete a tally and a frequency table. So now when we look at our columns, we are given a duck wood, chicken mayo, and quarter, then we have to complete the tally as well as the frequency. Now, let us start with the dark wood. So, the easiest way or the simplest way to minimize making mistakes because as in when we are working with such data, it is possible that you can 
you can count one result twice or not count it at all. So what we can do, the simplest way is that as we are moving through our result, let's start with the dark wood. I'm having a dark wood, so now if I cancel out the dark wood, I'm going to make one stroke under tally. Then I go again and check where I will get a dark wood or a learner that will prefer a dark wood. I also make a stroke, dark wood, it's three, and lastly, it's four. So now you can see that as you cancel them out, you are recording them down so that you minimize mistakes. So we have four learners who would prefer dark wood. Then we also have chicken and mayo. So I cancel chicken and mayo. I record it down. Chicken and mayo. Chicken and mayo. I record chicken and mayo. So now it's far, it's four. So now to make a five, I will make it across those four strokes. Then I will write my five on my frequency column. Then lastly would be quarter. So quarter, I record one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So now I write my 11 this side. So now when you, you add all your results on your frequency column, it will give you 20, which is the total. So now as you can see from the table of the results, all the results have been recorded. So it becomes easier when you scratch them out and start with the tally, then come with your frequency. Right, so now the terminology you should remember. Firstly, it will be the appropriate data collection instrument. So now it's an instrument that can be used to collect the data, meaning when you do your research, that will be the instrument that will help you to, connect, to collect your your information or data. Then we will look at the population. Population, it could be group of people from which the data will be collected. We have sample. It will be selected people from a population. So a population is a group of people, a large group, whereby now from that large group, we are going to take a small portion from it, of which we call it sample. Then we have reliability. It's an instrument performing constantly well, meaning as you are doing your research, your reliability should give you the same result for every participant in your research. Then we have categorical data. It's grouping data into classes and it can be observed. Then we have, lastly, numerical data. It's grouping of data by numbers of which it can be measured. Right, so now we are going to take a quick ad break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. <laughs> 